Okay, um, today we're going to use uh, an activity called magnet words. And what I'm going to do is bring you a sheet of paper. I've already determined the magnet word for you. We're, we're going to use the title of chapter one, the sound of the shell. And what you're going to do is go through your section of pages that's indicated on your handout. And you're going to look for attractor words to attract them to your magnet. Um, these are going to be key words that are important to your section of the text. And so I've indicated for you the pages that I want you to focus on. Look for words in that portion of the text that are that you think maybe are symbolic or important to the plot or we've already talked about setting and conflict details so you're looking for words that are that are key terms that are important just for your section okay now I'd like for you to find probably four or five words I want you to fill your page with those and then you're going to take those words and with your partner you're going to use those words in one sentence and that will summarize your section of the text so when we come back together as a group and we look at all of our different sentences we could put those together and we'd have a really awesome summary of chapter one does that make sense okay so you're already in your partners I'm gonna bring you a, pa a sheet and it already has your passage indicated at the bottom so that's the only section that your partnership needs to deal with today okay all right, you can get started when I bring you yours. Section there, um, they're sort of swimming in that lagoon. So maybe lagoon or a platform would be a good one because that's going to be one of our main you know, settings for that section. Okay. All right, y'all got the third section. I think that that is the section where they meet Jack. So think about that and his choir boys and that group coming toward them. So that's kind of what's happening there. Okay. All right, y'all got the third section. So that is the expedition that we read today. Okay. Which one did y'all get here? All right, so that's the very first section of the chapter. So definitely Scar, probably. What have y'all got so far? Okay. Um, they mentioned the Scar there, so that might be a good one. Or Rescue, even. Okay, y'all had the second section. So that's when they found the shell and they blow into the shell. How about meeting? I mean, they have a meeting together, right? Or names, even. They're sort of taking the names of the boys. What we got so far? Platform, lagoon, shell. Um, how about meeting? Is that the section in which they have the meeting? They blow into the shell and like summon the boys? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So meeting might be a good word. Uh, mm. Alright, what y'all got so far? Yeah, this is where they take names. Yeah, this is when they have their meeting. They, they meet Jack. Yeah, so chief may be a good one there, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, what we got so far? There, so... Um, you could put fainted there, yeah. Yeah. All right, what we got back here so far? All right, maybe try to find maybe one more, okay? Okay. So that's good. All right, so this is the section that we read today. We're ready on working on a sentence back there? Okay. Um, names gather, meeting. All right, Jack is probably going to be in part of your sentence. Um, let's see. Let's focus. Let's try to focus on Jack for yours. Um, they do take names. Um, they gather to have a meeting. Don't erase anything. Um, how about use chief? Did you already put chief down? Okay, you got chief. You're going to use Jack anyway. Um, probably going to use Ralph. So something like after calling a meeting and taking names, uh, the boys decide to have a vote. Use vote as one of your as one of your words to elect a chief. All right, let's see what we got so far. Jack, Simon, working on. Okay. 
<laughs> Piggy and Ralph saw saw instead of a group. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, we can make this the first part of the sentence. Ralph and Piggy used the conch for, was power one of the words that you used? Let's say Ralph, Ralph, and let's combine these two sentences. Ralph and Piggy used the conch shell to gather a meeting and then see a group of boys that look like a creature coming toward them. Something like that. See if you can combine those two sentences. That way you have one sentence. Okay? All right. Couple more minutes to finish up writing your sentence. And then we want to go around and hear a few and see what you came up with. We got back here. So working on sentence. Okay? Okay. Can I change for all the boys and Mm -hmm. How would I all right, so they they blew the conch shell to signal a meeting for all the boys, and then <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's say after blowing the conch shell. After blowing the conch shell to signal a meeting, the group, including Jack's choir, decide to have an election in which they'll vote for a chief. Something like that. Okay? Does that help? It's kind of a long sentence, but that's okay. Before we go today, before we run out of time, all right, a few people, I told you we wanted to hear yours aloud today, so if I told your group, then, um, then read yours. Okay, from section, the first section, 7 through 12, pages 7 through 12, that was the first part of the chapter. Um, let's hear a sentence or two from that one. 7 through 12. Girls, was that y'all up here? Who had group 7 through 12? Boys back here in the back, y'all read your sentence for me. Elvis, we read yours out loud? Do it. Oh, Y'all didn't have the first section? 7 through 12. Go ahead and read yours. A group of boys are stuck on a creeper field island with the nearby lagoon where the scar of their crash plane lies. Okay, very good. That's a good summary of the very first section. All right, the second section of the book was pages 13 through 17. Who did I ask to read theirs? Okay, girls. Ralph and Piggy found the shell in the lagoon, blew, it, blew into it, calling the other boys on the island to the platform to have a meeting. Okay, very good. All right, the third section was 18 through 25. Was that y'all in the back? Who had 18 through 25? Okay, let's see yours. After blowing the conch shell to signal a meeting, the group, including Jack's uh, choir, they decided to have an election to vote someone for chief. Okay, good job. All right, and last section. Jack, Silent, and Ralph climb up the Pink Bennett Mountain, find themselves on an island semi surrounded by coral reefs and rocks. All right, very good. Okay, and then let's hear this last one right here. Elvis, here's. The boys were exploring the coral reef, when they, then they entered the forest. There they saw a pig trapped in the creepers and Jack almost couldn't really Okay, very good. All right. Then let's hear yours too. I think y'all had a good one going back there um, for the last section. And that'll be our last one. Okay. All right. So the word hesitates is a really good one there because that shows us that Jack, you know, isn't savage yet. He's still, you know, the dominant part of his personality is still that civilized, 
you know, British schoolboy. Okay, good job on those. If you will put your name and your partner's name on those, I'm going to pick those up so I can take a look at them. Uh, hopefully that helped you sort of summarize the very first chapter. Um, tomorrow we're going to work on some character analysis and then we'll start chapter two.